Start living in your own head. I know a lot of people, you don't want to live in your own head. You have, you know, bad memories. You have issues. You have some things you haven't sorted out in life. I feel the same way, you know. Everyone has things in their mind or things that belong to their, per that, you know, their body, that their person, that their soul. That, you know, sometimes you don't want to face. This is what I have to say to you. You have to face them one day. And to face them, you have to stop living in somebody else's brain, thinking about how, how they perceive you or how you appear to others. No, you want to think, okay, how do I appear to myself? What is my goals? What are my standards? How do I appeal to myself? Am I being a really nice and, and helpful and really graceful person? If I am, great, awesome. You don't care about what other people think of you because you're already so set on how you live your life. This is a really vital thing to get past life's obstacles and, and journeys and etc, etc. You have to have a really stable sense of self and a really stable sense of who you are as a person. So the first thing you have to do is you have to stop living in somebody else's head. They don't matter. They're not the most important people in this world. The most important person in the world is necessarily you in some aspects. You're living in your own body. You are the one who gets to deal with all the shit in front of you. You have to know how to do this. So you have to stop living in somebody else's head and somebody else's image and worrying about what they think of you. In reality, they don't care. Do you really care about other, what other person, people are doing and what they're up to and, you know, if they're rich or poor or whatever? Do you really care that much? And the answer is, most of the time, definitely not. You're only worried about your own success and your own worries. So stop thinking about if somebody else likes you or hates you. In the end, it doesn't matter. In the end, all that matters is the way you perceive yourself. And trust me, if you perceive yourself in the best possible way, you will be perceived by others in that in that way. And I tell you that, I'll tell you that much. This also kind of corresponds with, you know, manifestation or with spirituality or with blah, 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 blah. But if you perceive yourself in a certain great, understandable, amazing way, others will perceive you your, yourself in that way. Unless you're a dick of a person and you go out, you know, robbing people and you go out, you know, doing really awful things and obviously people aren't going to like you. That's the way it is. That's the way you do things. So if you keep thinking to yourself, I'm a really, you know, cool person. I have so many friends. People like me. That's what people are going to think about you. That's my first step. Stop worrying about them. Straight away, you're putting your energy into them. Fuck that. Put your energy into yourself. Understand yourself. Understand your wants and needs. Dive into yourself and unlock your real self. So my first step, stop living in somebody else's brain. Get inside your own.